I said, okay, you know, I'm going to sing. It was a solo, and I've been singing already with a group called the Harmonettes, so I was used to it. But this is the first time I did it on my own. And the altar call, I didn't understand until that moment when I was singing. Um, while I was singing, I saw people tearing. Oh, yeah. man, so you know you're having an effect. Exactly. Let her tell and her. then all of a sudden, as a speaker was speaking and I was singing, you know, he was saying, come, come, come come to Jesus and all of a sudden you just saw these individuals coming towards the to, towards the stage of where I was and I was just like wow is this the effect that I can re is this the effect that I have father God obviously because I was talking to him in my mind I said if this is what it is I, I want to do this for the rest of my life if I can sing and it could bring healing it could bring a sense of comfort I want to do this and from that moment on I've, always, I've never stopped singing. I've made sure I've been involved in some sort of either group because I was directing choirs and you know I've, I've never stopped since that moment. Because it's a wonderful high making people move. I mean moving people, right? Because you're singing from your heart and they're receiving it. So you're just rejoicing and if they rejoice, or rejoice with you, it's just it's an incredible feeling. Did you get through the song without crying yourself? No, I started to cry. <laughs> I did start to cry because it's like it was that was the first experience and when I got off the stage I was like, I can't believe this. And I was just like, God, God, I want to do this. I want to do this. And thank you. And because you didn't really, I didn't really understand before, you know, what effect you can have on a person when you sing. I just loved singing. And mm. I thank my parents for that because it just was instilled in me. So from that time, yeah. do you think about the words more as a singer or do you think about the feeling more? Both. Mm. The words and the feeling. The words comes out and because... I, I sing songs, especially now with the, with, the, with the album that I just went through. I made it a point to sing songs that I can express and that they're real. Mm -hmm. And when I sing, it's like I'm, I'm talking. I believe I'm talking mm. and I'm communicating. I don't want them to focus on the, oh, the big notes. Mind you, they're there. That's good. <laughs> Reach them. <laughs> you know, Reach hey. <laughs> but my goal is really to have a conversation. And I, when I sing, that's, 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 my, that's my focus. Mm. Yeah, that's my job. So I guess that's involved in the writing, too. Yeah. I mean, you have yeah. to see yourself out there in front of the audience. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So that's why I write what I can, I, I know about. I can't write about something that I don't know. So how, how drained are you after a, an evening of singing? It must be, I mean, if it's that emotional. You know, but it's, it's, it's exciting. I, 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 can, I can go on. I can go on. Because the thing is, as I'm singing, I'm getting back also. Because mm -hmm. if you're having a conversation, a one-way conversation, obviously you're going to go, okay. But if the person is interacting and you're feeling them, then you could go on and you can go on. And that's how I feel when I sing. Mm. Yeah. You've recharged your own batteries. I would, yeah. You said this was therapeutic, too, that yes. it helped you heal some of the life's events. What's yeah. happened to you that uh, you, you needed to work out? Well, I've, I've grown. I've grown. I'm growing. I'm still growing. I... Um, and I've grown into Jennifer that I, the Jennifer that I am now, a woman, I would say. And there are certain things that you, 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 you learn along the way. You understand more about life and the, the curves that it, it throws you and not to get down. And your eyes open a bit more, especially when you're a kid. You know, you, you yeah. believe and you're, you know, it's like, oh, everyone is wonderful. And then as you get older, it's not always the same picture that you see. So songs are like, you know, thank you. Thank you, because when situations were rough and the individuals that you thought would have been there weren't, there was one constant individual, mm. and that was my Father God. So, mm -hmm. Did you have friends let you down? Yes, I think we all do. And, you know, you don't blame them because in life, I'm sure I've let other individuals down without realizing it because there's so many things that you have to grow into and understand. And mm. one key thing I did understand is that I'm put here on life, not about me. It's not about me, it's not what I can do, but it's really about what I can give. That's one of the most important lessons that I learned through that period of growing. Mm -hmm. So my singing, my music, any chance I have, I Jen, give. Because when you give, and it sounds cliche, live to give, <laughs> but when you actually do give, there's a joy that you can't explain. Yeah. And express, yes. I mean, there's a reason cliches are cliches. If it's really true, it, it's, it'll become a cliche because it means it's something. It's so true. true. It's so true. What does her, what does her parents yeah. think about it? So me? what about your mom and dad? I bet you one of the things you learn coming out of teenagerhood is that mom and dad get a lot smarter. Oh, yes, they yeah, do. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Thank oh, you. Oh, yes, they do. <laughs> uh, so what do your mom and dad think of Jennifer Mead, woman, professional singer? Wow. Well, um, 
I hope they're proud Can you ask her to sing one of the songs that her father used to sing for us at the end? Could you ask her if she'll do that for us, just a little a cappella thing? I think that would be really nice. You are, because as your father, you know, their values and things that I, I, I instilled in you, and to see that you're still standing and you have a strong foundation in them, then he's like, you know, continue, continue. So it's good and it's great to have the support of your mom and your dad. You know? I'm proud of you. Ah, well, I hope they are. Uh, they say it, yeah. yeah. Well, we'll take the piano part out about your mom. Now, before I head off on my flight, uh, I'm going to ask you a favor, and yes. you can say no. Okay. But I don't want you to say no. You don't want me to say no. A little a cappella, please. Could you sing something, one of the songs that your dad, or at least part of one of the songs your dad would sing to you? Can you remember? Um, wow. Because we're going to play something from the album okay, later. Okay, for sure. Oh, yeah. He would sing, okay, a little part. Um, Great is your mercy towards me. <laughs> Here we go, just for you, Dave. Um. Great is your mercy awesome. towards me, your loving kindness towards me, your tender mercies I see oh, boy. day after day. Forever faithful towards me, always providing for me. Great is your mercies towards me. Great is your grace. I'm not afraid to get on a plane now. I don't like to fly. I don't like to fly. <laughs> so you, you're going to come with, uh, to Montserrat with me? I'm coming. I'm All coming. right. I'm packing. We're going. We're, first stop, duty-free shop. We'll pick up one of the CDs. God bless you. Thanks for, thanks for coming Thank by the you. airport. Thank you for having me. Now back into the slush. <laughs> yeah.